For North Carolina, forward a 6'8 senior from East Meadow, New York, number 44, Matt Doherty. For Duke at forward, a 6'8 sophomore from Scottsdale, Arizona, number 32, Mark Allery. For North Carolina at forward, a 6'9 senior from Latham, New York, number 41, Sam Perkins. For Duke, a forward, a 6'7 junior from St. Catharines, Ontario, number 45, Dan Mahar. For North Carolina at center, a 6'10 freshman from Kohler, Wisconsin, number 24, Joe Wolf. For Duke at center, a 6'8 sophomore from Rolling Hills Estate, California, number 21, Jay Billis. North Carolina guard, a 6 2 and a half freshman from Queens, New York, number 30, Kenny Smith. For Duke at guard, a 6 foot freshman from Falls Church, Virginia, number 4, Tommy Amaker. For North Carolina at guard, a 6 6 junior from Wilmington, North Carolina, number 23, Michael Jordan. For Duke at guard, a 6 2 sophomore from Washington, D.C., number 24, Johnny Dawkins. Dean Smith is the coach of the Tar Heels. Mike Krzyzewski for the Duke Blue Devils. Eight minutes, 41 seconds to go. First half, Duke on top of North Carolina, 10 to nine, and here's the full court pressure. Henderson beats it with a dribble. Duke with the advantage, Dawkins inside, blocked by Perkins. Hale with a loose ball, ahead to Matt Doherty. Collision in the backcourt, no whistle. Doherty missed the layup, Jordan with a jam follow. This well, may go on all afternoon. This looks like a continuation of that great game that these two teams played last weekend. Great offensive and defensive basketball by both teams. Amaker to Dawkins. North Carolina in the man-to-man. -man. It's an aggressive man-to-man, -man, and they'll trap when they get the opportunity. Henderson, good shooter out of the perimeter, and nails it from the corner. Duke regains the lead at 12-11 on Henderson's first bucket. Like in that first game, there were 26 ties and 15 lead changes. There's another lead change today. My goodness, did you see the contact? That's three possessions out of the last four where there has been a lot of contact and no whistle. The officials are telling the players, hey guys, this game is yours. Michael Jordan sort of holding his hip as he came down the court. We'll have to see if uh, maybe he hurt himself. Henderson trying to penetrate, has to dish it off. Saved by Dawkins. 14-23 to go. It's Carolina by one. Good help by Sam Perkins. He forced that dish back outside. Mahar, the backdoor pass to Dawkins. Lost it, got it back to Amaker. Well done. What a rebound by Perkins. Excellent inside defense by North Carolina. This is Hale, Brad Darty. Sees me handling the ball very well, and he backs in on Mahar, and they will call Brad Darty for the offensive foul. And that was a good call. Dean Smith's up claiming that Mahar pulled him back in, but that wasn't the case there. Michael Jordan, what an athlete he is. Penetrates around the baseline. Even though he's fallen down, you can see his concentration. He kept looking the ball into the basket. What a play. He's a better shooter prone than most people are standing straight up. Carolina by one, 13-12, Duke's basketball. Now North Carolina showing a 2-3 zone. We'll have to see if they stay in it. Mahar comes out high. Far corner, Henderson. Won't go for him. Kenny Smith in the middle for the rebound. North Carolina dropped back on the first pass into a 1-3-1 zone. Duke took the long shot. Doherty inside. Matt Doherty missed the shot. Here comes Dawkins. It's a two on four, fast break, and Dawkins almost lost it, got it back. Duke trying to settle down the tempo a little bit. 13 minutes, 19 seconds to go in a half. North Carolina back to the man-to-man. -man. Dawkins guarded by Hale, tries to go inside to Allery, held by Brad Doherty, that's his second. Great job by Mark Allery getting position. He had Brad Doherty pinned on his back, and then when the ball went to Allery's side, boom, he got him right there, got big inside. Doherty tried to come through him, and that's two fouls on Brad Doherty. And you see Dean Smith up. He's getting Wolf back into the ball game and takes Doherty out. He picks up two Picture fouls. Picture perfect. Mark Allery goes right to him, turns around, gets him on his back. That was a great play by Allery. 13-12, Carolina by one, and boy, these teams played such... 
outstanding games during the regular season. You got a shot there of Michael Jordan coming in the ball game. He looks a little serious. All five Duke starters have a basket, plus David Henderson, the sixth man coming in off the bench, has a basket. So Duke's moving it around. Something you need to do against Carolina also. Although in those uh, the last ball game they played, Dawkins and Allery combined for 53 points. Mahar, nice pass underneath for Allery. Play by the Duke Blue Devils. Michael Jordan went for the steal that created an opening, and Duke found it. Perkins has the ball stripped. Kenny Smith comes down with it, and he puts it home. Kenny Smith puts Carolina back on top, 15-14. I wonder how long these teams can go at one another like this. You know, how they long did it, the game? <laughs> well, they did it for 50 minutes in Chapel Hill. Amaker got rid of Smith. Jump shot short. Perkins rebound. Perkins already. The number one all-time rebounder, the number two scorer. Backward violation, it's all. Oh! Sam Perkins made one of the great plays that will never show up on the stat sheet that you'll ever see. If he touched the ball, Carolina would have lost it, so he waited for Duke to come over and get near it and knocked it off him. Mike, I think he thought that was the case, but Tommy Amaker had actually knocked the ball into the backboard. That's why Amaker was going after it so hard. Sam nearly made a big mistake in not picking it up. But from his standpoint, it was a brilliant play. If it works, it's fine. There's a bad pass going, whistling by Jordan out of bounds. Wolf turns it over. Jordan was just uh, going the wrong direction. It didn't have time to recover and get over there. Mahar's coming out of the ball game. Billis is back in. Carolina by one. This is Henderson. He's being guarded by Jordan. Amaker picked up by Kenny Smith. You see the tape on the left hand of Smith. Had that broken wrist. Missed several games. Amaker, Dawkins, past Hale, penetrating scoop shot through the foul. Well, I think even Johnny Dawkins would have laughed if he'd have made that one. He wanted the foul, and he got that. That was a real tough shot, but once again, North Carolina came with the double-team pressure, and when they did, Duke started moving the ball, and so Dawkins ended up with that opening. Carolina got over there well. Hale committed the foul. Number one on Steve Hale. It's the fourth team foul called against Carolina. And Dawkins at the free-throw line where he is deadly. Duke moves the basketball so well that they What's shoot that? many more free throws than their opponents, and it's because with their ball movement, they put their opponents in tough spots. Dawkins has tied it at 15. And has his club ahead. 11.47 to go in the first half. We have a timeout on the court. Our score, the Blue Devils at Duke, 16. North Carolina, 15. Sam Perkins still isn't off the mark offensively for North Carolina. Carolina is 6 of 10, but Perkins has not scored in the game. Hale covered by Dawkins, and Dawkins stole a bounce pass. Has three players in front of him, gets it to Henderson down the lane. And, made it. and Johnny Dawkins may have gotten away with not giving up the basketball. I think it was good recognition by Johnny Dawkins. He saw some guys coming that his teammates couldn't see, and what a steal by him. Amaker took it away from him. Trouble. Tough break for Tommy Amaker, who just picked Kenny Smith's pocket. As Amaker came, that comes out of the steal, you can see it here. He's going to lose control of the ball. Now he's got control there. He bounces it. Now it goes up over his head. That's a good call. He did carry the ball, and that was the call. Could have been a big possession there. Duke already looting, leading 18 to 15 with 11:05 to go, and six turnovers against Carolina. Duke has, shown, Duke has shown the ability to force Carolina. Michael Jordan got the rebound, put it in his third field goal. He has six points. Most people's idea of the player of the year in college basketball. Well, I certainly think so. He doesn't get too many shots blocked, but he did a nice job staying after the ball. Mallory can't penetrate back out to Dawkins. Carolina back in that 1-3-1 zone. Michael Jordan is so active. Nice pass inside the miss slam by Jay Billis. And then he commits the personal foul on the foul. Jay Billis has to be a little bit sick that that one wouldn't go for. Good pressure defensively by Joe Wolf is what causes Billis to miss this slam. Maybe that hack across the wrist helped. Then Billis foul coming up from the back. Mike Szeski is really not pleased right at the moment. Neither are the Duke fans. This is Jordan. Won't go. Tipped by Wolf is good. 
Sam Perkins kept it alive, and then Wolf was able to tip it in. Nice job by Big Sam. Carolina scores four straight to take a 19-18 lead. Henderson had the shot. Now Perkins comes out on him again. Henderson will not normally pass that shot up. Great backdoor pass to Johnny Dawkins. Henderson really showed patience on that. And his teammates cut and gave him somebody to pass to. Dawkins with six. And Duke for the one-point lead. Pass will go past Michael Jordan out of bounds. Wolf tried to throw him the bounce pass, and it was a little wide. Just a great matchup going on right now between David Henderson and Michael Jordan. Really battling on both ends of the court. And Henderson is a whale of an athlete. He can play. Carolina once again changes up the defense. It's man to man now. Dawkins to Amaker, now to Henderson, penetrating. Looking for someone, finds Allery. Duke is moving the ball exceptionally well today. You've got to do it against Carolina. Phyllis playing with two fouls. Dawkins, did you see that? Johnny Dawkins went on that jump. He has eight points, and it's Duke by three. Sam Perkins has Allery on his back. Not anymore. Good recognition by Michael Jordan. Perkins positioned himself perfectly, and then when the ball went across the court, Sam was calling for it. Here you go, Johnny Dawkins coming in. Question there is, is he ever going to come down? Nice shot. This ACC game is being brought to you in part by Mazda, by Holly Farms, and by Boss Bakeries. 8.47 to go. This is Phyllis. Duke on top. Step by Mark Alley, and once again, Duke breaks that double team, gets an easy shot. Six points for Mark Gallery, and it's Duke by three at 24 21. Matt Darden, low to Jordan, and Jordan scores over Allery after he got away from Henderson, and that's eight for Michael Jordan. Jordan. Jordan doing a tremendous job working for position inside against Henderson. We've said all year Michael Jordan may bite his tongue eventually. He may have done it. He's feeling up at his mouth like something happened. Phyllis, he's got Allery in the lane. A lot of contact and a call of travel, no foul. Works for Jay Billis. That may have been a break, but it wasn't called against him because he already has two persons. Of course, he thought uh, the foul should have gone against Matt Dart. That's really a tough call by the official. With all that contact there, it seems sometimes like that contact is what causes the walk. So maybe the foul should be called instead of the walk. It's Duke, 24, Carolina, 23. This is Steve Hale handling the ball. He and Kenny Smith at the guards right now. Michael Jordan will get a breather. Sam Perkins back out to Smith. Sensational freshman. Hale with a nice fake gets free in the baseline, and Steve Hale puts it away for his first two. Carolina back on top by one. Duke showed a zone for the first time in the game. Carolina recognized was good and patient. Amateur. 10-footer, and Tommy Amaker puts it down. Great shooting by both of these ball clubs. Doherty trying to beat the pack into the lane, lost the ball to Paul Amaker for the foul. That's Tommy Amaker's second personal foul, and that might be a big call because Amaker is vitally important in Duke's ability to break the North Carolina pressure. Seven minutes, 18 seconds to go. First half of play. It's Duke, 26. North Carolina, 25. Back in Greensboro after this. Seven, 18, first half, Duke, 26-25. They have been neck and neck since the start of the ball game, and look at the shooting percentages. And that's, that's two pretty good defensive teams out there as well. That's so for this sure. Is, this is an outstanding shooting performance by both clubs. They are both playing about as well as they can play right now. Into the ball game for Duke is Doug McNeely, the senior who played quite a bit yesterday, and he gets his first rebound. Great blockouts by both Billis and McNeely. They moved Perkins and Wolf right out of there. Duke was in the 2-3 zone on the out-of-bounds play. Allery is getting a breather right now. This is Billis in the lane, and he scores. And we have seen contact like this the entire game with no whistles as Perkins went down. The officials really letting them play the game. Sam Perkins has spent a lot of time on his backside in this game. Duke stays in the zone. 28-25. Hale. And both of these teams are very adept at drawing charges. And they're not getting many of those today. Good active zone by Duke. G. Doug McNeely hanging on to Joe Wolvey. He's lucky to get through the lane. 
This is Wolf to Kenny Smith. Missed the shot, and the loose ball goes to Phillips. Great, a good block out again by McNeely. Ahead to Mohawk. And one of the few times you will see Carolina go a little sleepy on defense. I think Sam Perkins just fell asleep. Mahar beat him down the court. Good hustle by Mahar. It's Duke by five. Matt Darden. Won't go for him. Wolf with a tip, and we've got a foul underneath. I think it's on Dan Mahar. What a battle going on underneath. Joe Wolf, yeah. Sam Perkins just pounding. Jay Billis, Dan Mahar back and forth. That time Joe Wolf got the measure of Mahar. And Michael Jordan checks back in the ball game. Kenny Smith will go out. Allery will come back in for the Blue Devils. There's Jordan. Foul on Mahar was his first. It's important that guys like McNeely and Henderson can come in the game to give the Duke players a blow because they, they really haven't had much rest and they played a tough game yesterday. And it also helps spread out their foul difficulty. Alley up to Perkins. Lost it, and we've got the foul. And I think the foul's on Jay Billis. And if it is, it is number three on Jay Billis. Now they got Doug McNeely. Here's Sam okay. Perkins in position for the lob. Tough pass. McNeely, you can see very clearly, reaches in and gets him across the arm. That alley-oop is such a difficult play to execute. You see it all the time. And I think the reason it looks so easy is because of the abilities of the athletes executing it. That was just a tough pass. Perkins did well to even catch it. His last 20 games, Sam Perkins has averaged more than 19 points a contest and is the number nine scorer in ACC history. And you might, if you have your home videotape rolling, you might save that one. He doesn't miss many. <laughs> He's a tremendous free throw shooter. He's a tremendous everything. He sure is. Perkins, all that concentration, hits this one. It's now 30-26. Duke on top by four. Full court pressure. Now this is zone pressure until Duke's going to get it across half court. Dawkins does that well. McNeely fouled by Sam Perkins, and McNeely took it right to the big guy. If you've got guys like Dawkins and Amaker who can handle the ball, you can really put some pressure on a defense. Dawkins doing a great job getting it down the court. McNeely taking it right to Sam Perkins, who did foul. And he made sure he protected the ball with his arms and his body so that if Perkins was going to get a piece of it, he was also going to get a piece of the 6'5 senior out of El Paso, Texas. Free throw's good. And McNeely has given the Blue Devils a boost. He looks real sharp today. Only a 57% free throw shooter on the year, but that first one was perfect. And it's 31-26. This one's short, but he got the roll. McNeely with two free throws, two points on the afternoon. It's 32 26. Jordan Dawkins got back in a hurry to cut him off at the pass. Carolina just keeps the pressure on. Those free throws went in, and North Carolina right away back to the attack. Jordan turned around, put it up in the left hand, missed the shot foul against Carolina, and I think it's Perkins. It is Sam Perkins. Michael Jordan put that shot up with the left hand, might have made the shot a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. You can see Jordan is loose down inside, but that left-handed shot is just a little bit off. Perkins comes clearly over the back of Jay Billis. That's two fouls on Sam Perkins. And Dean Smith will get him out of the game with 5-18 left and put pick Brad Doherty back in there. Brad Doherty as well has two fouls. And Doherty got him fast. He wasn't in very long. Got him in about three minutes. Duke in control right now, 32-26. Carolina playing the zone. Allery won't go. Rebound of Brad Doherty. Seems to be playing fine with that bandage on his right hand. Seems to be catching the ball well. That's going to be the important thing for Doherty. Matt Doherty, who proved yesterday you can't leave him alone, to Hale. Hale missed Billis with another rebound. Boy, Billis is doing a job. He really got up there. Great strong rebound by Jay Billis. Allery has yesterday and his teammates looked for him and hit him with the pass this time they did it again and Joe Wolf fouled him. One of the most dangerous things about the Duke Blue Devils is how well their big guys run the court. You can see Allery there calling for the ball and what an athletic move. That guy can really get up and down. Allery already with eight points and this is David Popson the freshman from Ashley Pennsylvania who comes in because Wolf has two personal fouls. But Carolina can go to that bench and it never seems to end. Allery, who has just enjoyed an incredible season, missed the free throw. 
had a chance for the three-point play, but it's still, still duped by eight at 34-26. And Carolina is not playing poorly. Duke stays in the 2-3 zone. This has worked well for them. They've went to their spurt out of this defense. This is Hale. It's a good aggressive zone. Doherty. Gets up the 15 footer. Won't go. Billis with another rebound. Billis has just been a tower of strength on those boards. He has been saying to North Carolina, these are mine. And he's taken them. Allery again, double team, bad bounce pass. Good defense by North Carolina. Allery knew he was in there about three seconds and had to get rid of Four and two, Jordan, the basketball count. And that's three fouls against Tommy Amaker. Amaker reached in, and ten points for Jordan. Amaker guessed wrong. Steve Hale made him think he was going to pass it to the other side to Popson and then went back to Jordan. Amaker was out of position. Jordan has the opportunity for a three-point play, and this will be a big one. Amaker looks up at the scoreboard to see what they're saying about his personal foul situation. And the scoreboard tells him he has three. There's Matt Doherty, who has gone to the bench for a breather. It's a good thing we're not looking at Mike Krzyzewski. He was telling Joe Forte what he thought of that foul. Jordan trying for the three-point play, and he misses a free throw. Very rare for Michael Jordan. North Martin Car is 6, 34-28, with 3.50 to go in the half. North Carolina has not been a 79% free-throw shooting team, and that's one of the reasons why they're behind in this half. Dawkins working on Hale to Amaker. Started by Kenny Smith. Nice pass inside to Phyllis, double team. Stripped to the ball by Jordan, and here comes Hale. Kenny Smith. foul you have to bury somebody and what a break for the Duke Blue Devils I really thought that they could have caught Mark Allery watch Allery to the left of your screen he's gonna reach that arm in right there oh. they didn't call the foul against him but Smith did run into McNeil what a collision 330 to go in the half Duke 34 Carolina 28 don't go away take a look at this replay Allery right. reached, well, he got the arm back, it looked like. He got the arm back, but he got it in there, and most of the time a foul's called by what it looks like. I think the two teams just got down the court so quickly, maybe the official was not in the position to see that particular play, but he could sure see the charge. Then again, they haven't called too many touch fouls today. <laughs> the Blue Devils against Carolina have done a tremendous job at forcing North Carolina into, into turnovers. They've averaged 18-5 against them. They have eight so far today. North Carolina averages only about 10 turnovers a game, so Duke really does a nice job against them. We've been telling you what a great job Jay Billis has been doing. He already has seven rebounds in less than 17 minutes of the first half, and he's been playing against Perkins and Doris. Here's the alley-oop, loose ball. Billis comes down with it into the lane. Working, it's working. That ball was a bad alley oop pass that went right to Jay Billis, and he knocked in a tough shot. It's an eight point spread for the Blue Devils, who are 36 to 28 over North Carolina. Duke stays in the 2 3 zone, and North Carolina not doing very much movement against the zone defense. Johnny Dawkins kicked that one. And they'll reset the 45 second shot clock. Matt Doherty comes back in, Kenny Smith comes out, so Hale will run the offense. Dean Smith's substitutions this afternoon a little bit different from what he normally does. Normally he runs people in and out to give his players a breather, and that may be what he's doing today, but it really looks like he's struggling to find a combination that can solve this Duke team. Both teams have shot exceptionally well in the first half. It's just been a tremendously well-played ball game. Kenny Smith to Matt Dart. Two players out there talking with one another. You can hear them yelling back and forth. Great defense in that zone. Matt Doherty, and they'll drop off a of hit. They'll force him to shoot that jumper. Jordan won't go. Kenny Smith with a long rebound. Tries to penetrate. Grant Doherty. Nice move by Kenny Smith. That time, Doug McNeely, even though he had Doherty blocked out, McNeely's only 6'5", Doherty 6'11". He used that height advantage to tip it back. First two points for Brad Doherty. It's 36-30 with 2.03 to go. First half of play. Henderson, Dawkins. Carolina back in the 1-3-1 zone. Great pass to Allery from McNeely. And Allery took that pass and in one motion caught it and went up for the basket. He has 10. Great catch and move by Allery. Ooh, Jordan, oh, what a quick first step. Off the Matt Doherty couldn't 
maintain possession. Wolf knocked away by Henderson, who dives out of bounds after Megan McNeely. McNeely came into the picture just like a white flash going by there. His white uniform flashed by. He nearly had that ball. Look at the shooting. Duke shooting 68%, Carolina shooting 50. And the Blue Devils have hit nine of their last 10 shots. alley up to Jordan, what a catch! And then he missed the shot! I can hardly believe that one. Again, he went up with that left-handed shot and couldn't get the roll into the basket. The play was making the catch in the first place. Billis loses it on the turnover. Here comes Carolina. And then Dory has it taken away by McNeely ahead to Billis. place is going crazy. Smith to Matt Doherty. This is Jordan. Short. Jordan with a loose ball. He is everywhere. 51 seconds to go in the half. Duke by 10. Brad Doherty. And he puts it down. Nice shot by Brad Doherty. He was right in the middle of a crowd of Duke players. He kept the ball up above his head the whole time, turned and dropped it in the basket. 40-32, let's see if the Blue Devils play for one shot. Carolina trying to force the tempo with that defense. 30 seconds left, Dawkins says, one shot, let's do it. This is Allery who comes out high. Duke wanting to go in with at least an eight point lead at the point. Oh, Neely, McCauley was wide open, he goes into the lane for the jumper and won't go. And here's the loose ball picked up by Allery, back outside. Seven seconds left. Henderson missed the shot. Brad Doherty with a rebound. Ahead to Kenny Smith. One second left. He got it off in time, but it didn't go. I'll tell you what, Mike, what a first half of action. Just end to end in the last couple of minutes. This is everything that we were we thought it might be. Duke is quite a bit. When that thing was in midair, I was thinking the same thing you were. There was no chance he could go that high. But not only did he catch it, he ripped it through in one motion. Perkins' jumper won't go. Matt Doherty keeps it alive and fouls. Matt Doherty has been doing a super job on the offensive board. That's three times in the last couple minutes that he's gotten an offensive rebound and stuck it back in the basket. Somebody is going to have to block him out. And and he has 13 points, 35 in the last two games. Tied at 56, 9-27, left in the ball game. Henderson guarded by Hale. When you pick up your dribble against these guys, you're in trouble. Gordy with a steal, showtime! Mike Krzyzewski's up asking for a timeout. The Blue Devils simply did not move well to the ball. When the dribble's picked up, his players have to come and give somebody an opening. Michael Jordan with 16. It's Carolina 58, Duke 56. We'll be back at the Greensboro Coliseum after this. 08 left in the game, 58-56, North Carolina on top. Remember, stay tuned at the end of the game. We'll be picking a player of the game from each school. Look at what's happening in the second half. Duke shooting about 35%. Here's the fast break, the steal of Matt Doherty. Ahead to Kenny Smith. Amaker trying to catch it. Sam Perkins took three steps and then jammed it. I think Sam Perkins was concerned with the presence of Tommy Amaker. He had a great defensive play by Matt Doherty, but Amaker's back. Perkins just caught in between steps there. He should have dribbled the ball one time. Big break for Duke. The Blue Devils can ill afford to fall farther behind North Carolina especially since the shot clock will go off in about four and a half minutes. And if you're behind North Carolina when the shot clock goes off, it's almost impossible to beat them because of their great delay game and their brilliant free throw shooting. Carolina back to the man-to-man. -man. Sam Perkins matched up against Allery, and that's a real battle. Allery, the turnaround jumper, and buried it with Perkins in his face. We're tied at 58. Allery has 17 points. Duke now goes to the man-to-man. And Kenny Smith goes right by Amaker, missed the layup. Here comes Dawkins, look at him explode. Goes by Doherty, missed the shot, Allery, rebound. Allery! Johnny Dawkins did a great job to get that ball up on the board. I think he saw Mark Allery there, and he realized if he could get it on the board, then Allery had a shot at it. Great rebound. Allery has 19 points, and Duke is back on top, 60-58. Michael Jordan is fouled. No, Sam Perkins called for 
setting the pick and throwing an elbow so the basket will not go. That's a real interesting call. Jay Billis battling his heart out to get over the Sam Perkins pick, and that's why the foul was called the way it was. Now here comes Billis. Perkins has his arm out there. He's holding him. That's a pretty good call. Allery prevented Jordan from making the jam, but the foul will go against Perkins before the play, and Perkins has three personal fouls, and this will allow Jay Billis to go to the free throw line. Michael Jordan on the bench, but you tell me you don't think Sam Perkins is strong. He looks a little thin compared to some of these other guys, but Jay Billis is a big guy, and Perkins simply held him out there on his arm like he was on a clothesline. Perkins is 231. Wolf comes out of the ball game as Dean Smith continues to shuffle the power of his lineup. Phyllis's free throw is good. He'll get another one. Dan Mahar is back in for Duke. Mahar's had a good rest. Jay Billis was the designated rebounder in the game in the first half. This half has been Matt Doherty from North Carolina. Doherty's got six rebounds this half. Billis with 10 points, 10 rebounds. There's Doherty with another rebound. Duke leads by three as Billis misses the second free throw. It's 61-58. Duke on top with 7.43 left in the game. Alley oop to Perkins. And Sam Perkins lost the ball. Billis got it to Dawkins. Perkins just all alone and lost the handle. Mike, I think he was gonna, he was trying to dribble the ball to get it under control, and that should be a lesson for anybody. First thing you do with the ball is catch it. Here's the alley-oop to Dawkins, knocked away, but Billis got it back, put it up, offensive foul, Jay Billis. And that's, a, that's an important call because the person that drew that offensive foul was Brad Doherty, and that's one of those things that can go either way. Bad alley-oop pass. Yes, Dawkins, I think, had it. There's Billis. Doherty, that time was established. That's a pretty good call. As we say, that kind of call can go either way. That's a big break for Carolina because that would have been Brad Doherty's fifth foul. Plus, it could have put Duke up by five points. Right now, they're up 61-58. Smith. Henderson trying to stay with Jordan. Jordan now has the ball. Goes right by Henderson to the lane. Missed the shot. Brad Doherty, rebound. Tipped by Jordan. Michael Jordan in among guys six, seven inches taller than he is, and he just puts it in. David Henderson is standing there holding his nose, telling John Falcon that he thought he got fouled. McNeely had a thought about going to the baseline, pulls it back out. 6.45 left. Duke 61, North Carolina 60. Henderson. What a smooth-looking turnaround jump shot by David Henderson. Nice pass inside. Henderson never had any thought about doing anything but shooting the jumper. Doherty gets called for pushing him with the body. I don't think Doherty's objecting to the foul call. Gee, look at that. 18 fouls for North Carolina, only one for Duke. I don't think Doherty objected to the foul call. I think he was claiming that it happened before Henderson took the shot. Mike Krzyzewski gets a good look at the scoreboard overhead here at the Greensboro Coliseum. 6.40 to go, Duke by three. Big free throw missed by Henderson. Margin still three. Kenny Smith to Perkins. Matt Dart. Jordan and Henderson really battling inside. Jordan looking for position to get the ball. Perkins leans into one, missed the shot. Jordan gets the ball. Just sails down the free throw line, or down the lane, rather. And Mike Shashevsky wanted him called for a foul on that last possession. Michael Jordan is just going after the boards with abandon. McNeely got a hand on Sam Perkins' shot, and Dawkins is the only guy over there. He really is a, it's a mismatch inside him going against Brad Doherty and Michael Jordan. Matt Doherty's not ninth rebound of the second half. It's only one free throw, uh, one personal foul called against Johnny Dawkins in this game. Look at what Doherty has done. And he ties it up right here. 63 63. 6 16 to go. Full court pressure. Henderson to Dawkins. Three on two advantage for North. For and Dawkins put it in. And Michael Jordan just missed getting that. Jordan went into the cheerleaders over there, but boy, was he close. Dawkins loves to take it all the way himself on those fast breaks. Duke by two. We're under six minutes to go in the game here, so whistle and a foul. That is a good aggressive play by Dan Mahar. Brad Doherty trying to go around. Mike Mahar Shishefsky. picks up his second personal foul. 
And Duke huddling at the free throw line as North Carolina will take the ball out of bounds. Mahar leaving school on April 1st to go work out with the Canadian Olympic team. He's already a member of that club. Jordan Hall, oh, what a quick move to get around Henderson. Skies in the lane, the ball tipped outside. Allery with a rebound to Dawkins, 2-1-2. Two two. Jordan trails the play, and Dawkins thinks better of it, comes back outside. What a great rebound by Mark Allery. He was turning while he was in the air, but he got it and got a good, quick outlet pass. Amaker tries to get down the lane, cut off, gets it to Dawkins, 17 footer wall ball. Carolina did a great job at blocking out on that one. Kenny Smith. Here's the whistle. Offensive foul on Brad Doherty at the baseline, and he's out of the ball game. And he's upset about that call. He and Dan Mahar seem to have this thing with one another. Last weekend in Chapel Hill was the same way. They were battling and battling inside, and that young man has to be careful. He doesn't want to give Hank Nichols too hard a time. Maybe we can see it on the lower part of the screen here on the replay. Kenny Smith penetrating inside. Now there's Doherty getting position inside. Mahar coming around. Yeah, that looks oh. like a pretty good call. Doherty checks the scoreboard. He has eight points, five rebounds. Interestingly enough, at the end of the great game these two teams played last weekend, it was just that kind of a foul by Brad Doherty that sent this young man, Dan Mahar, to the free throw line with nine seconds left in the game. And had Mahar hit that one and one, Duke probably wins that game. But he missed the shot. Carolina is able to tie and win it in overtime. We'll take a look and see how Dan Mahar does in this situation. Pressure is on again. Duke by two with 5.26 left. You see, he's a 64% shooter, and he made that one. Five points for Dan Mahar, and it dejected Brad Darty, the sophomore out of Black Mountain, North Carolina, sitting on the bench beside his teammates. Mahar can give Duke a four-point lead. And does. Uh, Leading scorers in the ballgame, Allery with 19, Jordan and Matt Doherty with 18 apiece. Kenny Smith guarded by Amaker, two sensational freshman point guards. Perkins underneath to Kenny Smith and he put it home. Got away from Amaker and Dawkins couldn't get over there fast enough to help out. Tommy Amaker turned his head and Kenny Smith went right to the basket. Great play. The margin is two, 67-65, five minutes even. One, maybe two more possessions with the shot clock on. That's it. Amaker's jump shot from the baseline wall. Go. Jordan, rebound. Excellent defense by North Carolina. Michael Jordan in particular. He didn't give Tommy Amaker a chance to do anything with the ball. Matt Doherty guarded by Dawkins. Gets it to Jordan. Jordan's baseline jumper is good. Michael Jordan with 20, and North Carolina has the lead. Make it a tie at 67-67. This... It's now a game without a shot clock. It Duke, is off. Duke looks like they're going to try to spread the floor. Now, this is a dangerous situation for North Carolina because Duke has such great penetrators, particularly this guy with the ball right here. North Carolina can match up with some pretty good quickness, though. Four minutes, eight seconds left. Tied at 67. Johnny Dawkins, guarded by Smith, gets the ball to Henderson. Now, this is a long time to play this kind of a game. North Carolina would be do well to be patient. Of course, Duke is trying to score. They're not just trying to run out the clock. Henderson, he'll go as far as they'll let him to Amaker, wants to come back outside. And Mike. Carolina will try to trap at every opportunity. Oh, Henderson, throw it out of bounds. We just said that it's a long time to try to play that type of game. North Carolina doing a nice job. There's no fouls, no unnecessary double teams. Bad break for Duke. There's a timeout on the court with three minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the game. Duke 67, North Carolina 67. Turnover's pretty even, 18 to 14. Here's a factor to consider pointed out by our statistician, John Madry. The fact that only three team fouls have been called against Duke. They got a couple to give. They can gamble to go for steals. North Carolina may be spreading it out as well, and Duke certainly anticipated that with some double-teaming pressure, and David Anderson nearly got the ball. Almost took it away from Michael Jordan. It's a good double-team. Mahar comes over, and Henderson very nearly has the ball. Brad Doherty left his feet, and he almost ended up uh, with nothing to do. Good anticipation by Henderson. 3-27 to go in the game. We're tied at 67. Duke in the man-to-man. -man. North Carolina appears to be in their regular offense. Kenny Smith to Perkins. Matt 
Brad Doherty has already popped out of the ball. Here's a loose ball, knocked away, and picked off by the Burdell. That was a bad pass. Michael Jordan had Henderson clearly on his back, but the ball should have been thrown to Jordan's right. Instead, it was thrown to his left hand, and it actually hit David Henderson in the hand. Oh. Under three minutes, here's Henderson's Matt Doherty tried to get the charging ball. Allery. Dawkins! What a tip by Johnny Dawkins. He just went up there and stayed up there until he got the ball. First, I was so surprised that Allery took a 16-foot jumper, and then Dawkins just soared in from the baseline. Matt Doherty's jumper. Oh, what a clutch basket. And Doherty has played a clutch game. What a ball game Matt Doherty has played for North Carolina. He's got nine rebounds in the second half, and that's 20 points. That's 20 points. He had 22 yesterday. Matt Doherty saw the tournament coming, and he's been tearing it up ever since. We're tied at 69 with 2.18 to go in the game. Mahar. Henderson cross court to Johnny Dawkins all alone. What a big shot by Dawkins. Duke changing strategy a little bit. They weren't trying to hold the ball. Dawkins just buried it. Matt Doherty's got Perkins low, got him the ball. Perkins jumper. Oh, oh no! Mahar with a huge rebound to Tommy Amaker. Excellent defense inside by Mark Allery and by Johnny Dawkins coming down to help him. That was a tough shot, and then Mahar with a big rebound. Now Duke trying to spread it out. Henderson into the lane, feeds off to Mahar, cross court to Allery. 1.39 to go. Duke leads by two. This still a long time to hold the ball. Boy, is it ever. Especially against Carolina, as well as they trap. It looked to me like Joe Wolf was over there trying to foul Mahar. Dawkins, one minute, 23 seconds to go. Duke has done this to North Carolina twice. They have come so close, but they haven't beaten them yet. Henderson, baseline, fakes the shot. He's trapped in the corner. Now he drives all the way under and tosses it back. Gutsy move by Henderson. Good ball movement. We're down to a minute left in this game. Allery underneath and he's fouled. And Henderson had the presence of mind, even though they're trying to kill the clock, to get it to Allery when he saw him in that spot. Carolina running around, trying to put extra defensive pressure. Mark Allery recognized an opening, took advantage of it, and as you say, heads up play by David Henderson to get him the ball. Michael Jordan came real close to making a big, big defensive play. Here's the story on Mark Allery. He's had a brilliant ball game, but he's only hit one out of three from the free throw line, even though he is a 77.5% shooter on this season. One minute left, 71-69. Duke by two. Now three. Allery had two free throws in last Saturday's game that he had to make. It was a one and one to tie the game late in the ball game. And he knocked those in, so he's used to pressure situations. Well, you know, this young man is clutch. He's been that way all year long. Free throw again is good. A four-point lead with one minute to go. Michael Jordan, baseline drive. What a great body control, but it won't go. Whoa! Again, it won't go. And he is clobbered by Mark Gallagher. Joe Wolf just hung in there, and there is Mickey Krzyzewski. That's almost unfair to put a camera on somebody when they're that tight. North Carolina gave you a clinic in aggressive offensive rebounding. They pounded on the boards. Once that ball came off the first time and North Carolina got their hands on it, Duke really couldn't get in position to block anybody out. And these are two pretty big free throws for Joe Wolf who is, as every Carolina player is, a good free throw shooter at 75.9%. It's the first time he's had to go to the free throw line in the ACC semifinals down four. Again. And he is a freshman with four points on the season. No nerves, no nothing, <laughs> just net. Ice water. 73-70, Carolina creeps back within three. 51 seconds left. The margin is two. And they're going to get Steve Hale in the ball game for North Carolina. Wolf will come out, so Dean Smith has a smaller, better defensive team on the court. Not only does he get a better defensive team on the court, but he gets the game stopped and gets his team an opportunity to set up without calling a timeout. Allery will inbound the ball to Johnny Dawkins. Dawkins looks around, finds where all the enemies are, and comes across the timeline. Henderson in the corner. 44 seconds left. The margin is two, and the foul is on Matt Norty as he went for the steal. Matt Doherty thought he got close. You can see him walking up the sideline. He really thought he had that ball. 
almost a big play as Johnny Dawkins was throwing the ball to Henderson. It went right over the head of Mark Allery. Right. And for a minute, Allery started to reach his hands up. I don't think he could have caught the ball, but he very nearly knocked it out of bounds. And Henderson goes to the free throw line. The sophomore from Drury, North Carolina, 0 for 1 from the line. He is a 73% shooter on the season, has 10 points in the game. It's Duke by two. Make it three, and you see how Henderson reacted. He wanted that one so bad. We've had Allery, then Wolf, now Henderson in big pressure situations. They haven't even gotten close to hitting the rim. Henderson's second free throw. 75-71, Duke by four. Wolf needs to get the ball into somebody, finally. To Kenny Smith, ahead to Matt Gordon. All the way down the lane, pulls up for the jumper. He has made every big shot he has taken in the last two days. Matt Doherty has really put on a show, and you gotta be happy for that young man who has been satisfied to be a role player his entire career in North Carolina. Everybody likes to get a little of the glory. In the last two days, he's gotten his. Network. If you want to see the greatest uncut fights of all time, you. 35 seconds left. There's Mike Krzyzewski. He has two timeouts left, as does Dean Smith. Duke still has two fouls to give, incidentally, if it should be a factor. Mark Allery, very smart play. North Carolina set it up so that Duke could not get the ball in bounds. Excellent defense. Allery, Allery took a look, recognized, called the timeout. Now, that eliminates the timeout, but it's still a good play by Allery. You don't want to turn it over in that situation. Or worse, make a bad pass in bounds and give North Carolina an easy opportunity. Dan, let me ask you this. In the two games that Duke played against North Carolina, they could have won both of them. I know some of the people in the Duke program feel they should have won both of them. Now you're in a situation with 35 seconds left. Do the Duke players start wondering, uh-oh, what's going to happen now? The Duke players don't care. They know there's 35 seconds left in the game, and they can win the ball game. They're not thinking about what happened before. Duke and Carolina fans have both had a lot to cheer about today. Their teams have played very, very well. And everybody, for certain, will go home hoarse, if nothing else. Well, let's see what Duke has done to try to get this ball inbounds. North Carolina really has a knack for stealing the inbounds pass. Henderson gets the ball to Allery. 31 seconds left to go. Dawkins has got to beat that 10-second line. Does to Allery. 24 seconds left. Cross-court pass to Dawkins. They should keep the ball moving. Amaker into the corner. Allery is all alone underneath, but he's fouled by Perkins. Perkins fouled Henderson, and Hen I don't think Sam Perkins knew what a great foul that may have been. I don't know whether he knew it or not. It certainly was a great one. Mark Allery was real close to being in that lane three seconds. Here you can see, there's the pass over. Now Allery steps in the lane. He's standing there, he's standing. There's the foul right there. That's pretty close to a three second call. Of course, the slow motion makes it a little deceptive on the replay, too. Make sure in there longer, that's right. It's a tough game for the officials, too. They know what's at stake here. They've done an outstanding job. Henderson, two out of three from the line. 17 seconds left to go in the game. This is the biggest shot of his career. And he made it. 76 73. Duke by three with 17 seconds left. Big shot here. It could mean that North Carolina would need two possessions to tie it up. North Carolina still has plenty of time, Mike. Henderson, 13 points. 77 73. Matt Doherty, Mahar reached in, went for the steal, committed the foul. And what this did more than anything else was stop the clock at 15 seconds. Mike Krzyzewski certainly did not want that. He told his players to get up and put some defensive pressure. The thing is, though, it's not a one and one. And so they can, they still, it's, there's, that's five fouls now. They still have one more to give before North Carolina goes to the line. So maybe that's not such a bad, I don't think Mike Krzyzewski wanted it, but it's not such a bad foul. And how many times over the years have you seen the situation reversed where North Carolina was the team that had the fouls to get? Kenny Smith trying to inbound. They get it into Jordan. I file him right there, and that's what Johnny Dawkins did. Okay, now that's it for Duke. They don't have that option anymore, but they ran four seconds off the clock with those fouls. North Carolina took them four seconds to get the ball up the court. 
So there's 13 seconds left. Duke is down 77-70, or Duke is ahead, 77-73. North Carolina needs a basket desperately, and they need it in a hurry. Wolf to Kenny Smith. Smith with 10 seconds, missed the shot, pulled by those. Jordan and Ryan scores! Five seconds on the clock as Michael Jordan has just scored his 21st and 22nd point. Duke with a two-point lead, and virtually all they have to do is get it inbounds to a player in a white jersey. A player in a white jersey who is going to have to go down and make a free throw, Mike, to sew the thing up because North Carolina does have a timeout left. If Duke gets the ball inbounds and Carolina gets a foul right away, then if Duke misses the free throw, Carolina gets a timeout, they're going to have three, possibly four seconds to get the final shot of the game. So first, the inbounds pass is important, but I think somebody from Duke is going to have to knock one home to sew this thing up. And you have to imagine that Carolina's strategy is going to be, if Duke does get the inbounds pass, you have to foul immediately because even if one tick goes off the clock, it only leaves you four seconds and you still need the basket to tie. I think we'll see Mike Krzyzewski possibly get Dan Mahar out of the game and get somebody a better free throw shooter in. Now, maybe not because it's possible that Mahar might inbound the ball and so there wouldn't be the opportunity to foul him. It's a shame we couldn't have had a better game for you this <laughs> afternoon. A two-pointer with 16th-ranked Duke leading North Carolina, the number one team in the nation, 77-75 with five seconds left. And we want to thank the crew that has worked on this ACC tournament. We feel we have the best technicians, the best camera people, just the best bunch of folks working in the business. And we thank them for a tremendous job. Henderson followed by Doherty, and it'll be a one and one. Good job by David Henderson. He went after that ball like his life depended on it. He got the ball, Doherty coming over the back for the foul. Now there's four seconds left. That play took one second. Henderson, if he makes the first free throw, the ball game's over. But if he misses the first free throw, Carolina with one timeout left can still get the ball and call the timeout and still have as much as three seconds to get down the court and get a shot. So this one isn't over yet, and this is a big free throw for David Henderson. Well, he's hit four clutch ones here late in the second half. Now, Dean Smith wants to save his last timeout, but he's going to put in some substitutes here. And if the effect is going to be the same as a timeout, because he's going to make David Henderson wait. Now, well, Henderson's, course, Henderson's trying to stay away from the line, but let's see if Dean Smith gets him in the game. No, he's not going to. Dean Smith will drag it out just as long as he can. He'll use every tool in the book. Henderson makes the free throw. There's Carolina uses its last timeout. With three seconds left, they are still alive. And for Duke looking at North Carolina, they must look at the Tar Heels as a cat. These people have nine lives, and you just can't put them away. It's deja vu for the Duke Blue Devils. As we said earlier, last Saturday in Chapel Hill, Duke had almost the same opportunity. There was just more time left in the game. With nine seconds, Mahar missed the front end of a one-and-one -one that could have put the game away. Now, North Carolina has no timeouts left. Duke has been in four overtime games out of their last six contests, so it wouldn't be anything new for them. North Carolina is going to get the ball out of bounds, almost underneath their own basket. They may take it out under the basket. It depends on where the referee ruled the timeout was called, or they might have it up to the area of the foul line extended. So they're going to have to go at least 75 feet in three seconds to score. Which means uh, either you're going to take a chance on a 60-footer, or you're going to have to throw a long pass down court and take your chances on that. Well, if you're Duke, there's one thing you have to be sure of, and that's that something in this play involves Michael Jordan. You know, it might not be a bad play just to throw the ball up in the air at about the top of the key and have him go get it. And Maybe Mike Krzyzewski, I'm sure, is telling his club, heaven's sakes, if you foul, make sure he doesn't make the basket. 77-75. Duke on top by two. The Blue Devils led 40 to 32 at the half. Carolina made one of those great runs at him, tied it up, but give Duke a lot of credit. They bowed their back, they hung in there, and right now they have a two-point lead with three seconds left. Now Duke does not want to foul, obviously. North Carolina's in the one and one. But Duke needs to play good defense. They don't want North Carolina to be able to throw a long pass down the court. They want North Carolina. You can see they've got about 75 feet to go. Doherty's at the free throw line extended. 
They want to force them to throw the ball inbounds in the backcourt and have them take a couple of dribbles. Let's see what happens. Now, all teams have plays for situations like this. Three seconds left. Got to get it in. And it's out of bounds. They tried to hit Michael Jordan at the sideline, and the pass from Matt Doherty was too wide. It went out of bounds with two seconds left. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski's considering calling his last time out. He's making sure he's got one before he calls one. What he's also finding out now is where he gets the ball. Does he get it where Duke or where North Carolina threw it or where it went out of bounds? Well, maybe he's finding out if he actually gets the ball. Okay, now Duke oh, is saying, he gets the ball. Duke's saying that they have the ball, but I think Dean Smith was saying that one of the Duke players hit it out of bounds. All right, let's, let's take, take a look. look and see what happens. Now, Jordan, you just saw him leave the screen. They're going to try to get the ball to him in the corner. Pass going down just too far. Jordan touched it, I think, when it was inbounds, and that's why the one second is ticked off the clock. The clock actually ran down to zero. We'll see how much time they put And back if on. he did touch it while it was inbounds, then Duke will get possession where the ball went out of bounds. If he did not touch it when it was inbounds, then where Matt Doherty threw it in is where Duke will take possession, and that's what they're doing. All right, now, if that's the case, then there's still three seconds left on that's the right. clock. You can't run any time off the clock if the ball never hits somebody in bounds. Exactly. It, it looked like that the ball went down and hit a water cooler down there before Jordan got it. It hit something or someone before it got to Michael Jordan. Now, Duke, all they have to do is get the ball in, and we're still working the clock back down as Johnny Dawkins checks with Mike Krzyzewski. Let's see how far they bring it back down, if indeed they do go to three seconds. 